Many of our customers are looking for a silver bullet to solve the problem of identity fraud. There is no silver bullet, but what we do find is that there are ways to be able to tackle it more effectively than not. And when many clients ask me, they say, Chris, what do you recommend? I will typically tell them that the most effective way for our organization to help you, a customer, tackle the problem of identity fraud is through the use of multimodal biometrics. Now, the multimodal biometrics are really about the ability to be use a face or a voice and then be able to both capture, compare, as well as measure the liveness of those over a period of time and reuse that as well. And for most of our customers, it's an easy way to be able to engage with their customers, the consumers, in such a way that it's easy, it's timely, it's quick, and it provides that extra layer of assurance that they would not otherwise have had they used another form of authentication. When combined with document liveness, it's almost a surefire way to be able to ensure, in fact, that you are who you say you are. Multimodal authentication is the most effective way to be able to tackle identifying someone as part of a verification process. Authenticating on an ongoing basis or even really taking someone at the point of onboarding and into that process. And what it effectively does is it takes multiple vectors of how we look at an individual and identify an individual by using different forms of biometrics. The ones that are the most common and easiest to be able to leverage are voice, you're capturing it, you're comparing it to something that already exists and typically measuring for liveness, as well as the same for a face, where you're looking at a comparison of somebody's face to a previous picture, capturing that as part of a process, and then also detecting liveness on top of that. The combination of the two together, the face and the voice with the capture and the liveness produces an authentication metric that is quite effective at being able to detect identity fraud generally in the marketplace. So when we think of liveness, we think about the ability to be able to determine that either a face or a voice actually is a real face or voice. And real is really measured as a way to be able to look at the face as being an actual face of somebody versus a picture or a replication via mask. It could either come in the form of some type of physical presentation, which we would call a presentation attack, or it could come in some type of digitized version, which could either come in the form of being presented as a solid object, or it could actually be injected as part of an injection attack. But in all cases, we're looking to determine that that person not only is who they say they are, but the face is live. And in the case of a voice, the voice is live as well and can be determined to be associated with somebody versus being a recording and or picture.